Good morning. We're here at the facility, commonly called Cicero Commons, Cicero Twin Rings. Most all of the residents of the town of Cicero know of its existence. Many of them use the facility, both of themselves and for their youth. Uh, I'm a managing member of New Dimensions Properties, which purchased uh, this facility uh, in uh, early 2006. I've called this a press conference to allay the fears of the citizens and residents of the town of Cicero that the owners intend to close this facility. Nothing could be further from the truth. I may be considered an outsider. I don't live in the town of Cicero. But when we looked at this facility, we saw its promise. We saw its promise for making money, and that's why business people get into business. We also saw a promise of helping a community that needed help. We also saw the promise of helping the youth of a community that didn't have the facilities that they should have in order to practice their sports, to become members of sports teams, to have Saturday night canteen to keep the kids off the street, to have Girl Scout troops, over eight of them, that use this facility, the Red Cross, seven or eight churches, all at no cost, or very little or nominal cost. We have twin rinks. It's called Cicero Twin Rinks. One is an Olympic size rink, and the other is an NHL size rink. You will not find a finer facility. And to me, and we've been told, it's the jewel of the skating facilities of Central New York. People come from all over, including my county, Oneida County, to use the facility. Why are we here? We're here to dispel vicious, and false statements that emanated and have emanated up until this very morning from the town supervisor's office that the owners, and you're looking at the managing member of this organization, intend to tear down this facility and in its place build a hotel. Nothing could be further from the truth. Absolutely nothing. It's absolutely ridiculous even to think we would have such a thought. We have a community facility furnishing facilities and services for youth in the town. 114 acres. Do we need to tear this building down to build a hotel? And why build a hotel when there's not any draw for people to come? Yes, it is true. Yes, it is true that in our future plans, we had planned to put up hotel or hotels. If we improve the facility and build a U.S. Swimming Association sanctioned pool, there isn't one in the whole area, the whole county, except Nottingham High School, which is a public facility. We planned on possibly bringing in and putting in an indoor water park facility. We even toyed with the idea of joining with Syracuse University and building a sports arena where they could bring their pending, let's we'll say, intended uh, hockey team to play. Now, we all know that doing such improvements costs money. And we all know that that money generally comes from bankers and from investment financiers. We all know they look at the possibility of failure or non-failure of the business. What we have faced and we are facing is an increase of our assessment on this property in 14 acres of over 300 percent in the last year. over five million dollar raise. We were assessed by Mr. Keith Pittman, an experienced assessor, back in 2006 when we first came here, and we were assessed in this way. He said, this is what your value is, take it or leave it or go to court. We took it, 2.2 million dollars. We have not done any improvement in this building except to maximize its efficiency. We put tens of thousands of dollars internally in this facility to keep it running, keep the ice going for the kids, the gymnasium open, the health club open, and our daycare center open. That's where the money is going. Yet, the assessment was raised. There are people who called the assessors of the supervisor's office asking 
why the assessment was raised and then how that affects our facility or ability to keep running. They were told flat out <coughs> by the spokesman in the supervisor's office <coughs> that the assessment is fair, we didn't pay enough for the property, and most damaging, that the owners intend to tear it down. Therefore, taxation doesn't mean anything. They intend to tear it down to replace it with a hotel. There's a handout here, and there's eight pages of facilities, I'm sorry, eight pages of organizations, Billy Mossonary charitable organizations, that use this facility. Eight pages, take it with you, take a look at it. We want to keep going. However, in order to have this facility be successful, it needs adjuncts. The adjuncts would be the other projects that we talked about. And until that matter is taken care of, not be able to raise the money to have those projects completed. But in any event, that's a matter in the courts. I'm not getting into the matter of, of, of litigation. I'm not getting into the details of litigation. But the reason I'm here and the only reason I'm here before you today is to dispel that false information that we as owners intend to tear it down. We as owners intend to do everything we can to continue the facility, to continue the services to the town, and continue the services to the youth of the community. Thank you. What do you believe are the reasons for the uh, raising assessment? Well, again, that I, I guess would probably be a matter of litigation. Uh, I can speculate, uh, but uh, at this point I prefer not to. What's the next step for you? I mean, this, this obviously is going to be a uh, tremendous strain for taxpayers to deal with this. Well, there are a couple of ways, I guess, of trying to stay afloat while this thing is being litigated. One would be uh, to uh, close the facility, I guess, and turn it into a vacant lot, therefore reduce the taxes, uh, or uh, to uh, raise fees that we certainly don't want to raise, uh, even though we're in a position of having the best facility and most wanted facility for the activities we spoke of. You have contracts with a lot or many of the, of the hockey groups. Do you have signed contracts with them for this season? Yes, we do. And they fix the rate at what? What's your ice rental time now for hockey? Well, it, it varies. It depends on the time of day and also it depends on the group. Uh, the, the exact amount I'm not familiar with at this point that's taken care of by the in house managers. Uh, but uh, yes, we do have those contracts. But if there's no facility, the contract can't be kept. And yet, it seems like arguments going on here, Mr. Gray. You're saying the town wrongfully and improperly is telling people as they call, well, they, you want to tear this down, so don't be, and on the other hand, you're saying, I can't afford this assessment. We've either got to raise the rates or tear it down. I mean, No, I, did, I didn't say that. Okay. What I'm saying is we do not intend to voluntarily close this facility. The matter is in litigation, and uh, we'll see what the litigation what could be the possible end scenario here? The litigation will proceed. You're going to stay with it. What if the courts rule that something close to 7 point, whatever the new assessment is, 7.290, is accurate and actually this property should be assessed at, or they, they raise it to something close to that? Look, between now and then, there are a lot of raindrops that are going to fall. This litigation will probably be for several years, at least two years or more. And so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And in the meantime, what, what do you see happening for the What I see happening is doing everything that we possibly can to keep the facility open. For the parents, and some of them are represented here today, I guess, and all the kids that skate on these clubs, what does that mean for ice time? Do you think you'll be able to survive this litigation process and not raise the rates by 300%? I mean, what do you... you what do you think in the short term for people who use this ice? What's there? We are going to do, and this is final statement, that we are going to do everything possible to keep the rates where they are because we do not want to impose a burden on the parents that see this facility as a very helpful thing for them and their children. Well, can I ask one more question? Anything. Before you bought this facility, this was part of what was called the SAG, may still be the Cicero Commons complex, a town built, publicly supported, not, not tax exempt parcel. You, are you still seeking nonprofit tax exempt status? That is a consideration we're looking into. Which would solve a lot of the problems of this particular parcel, right? Good, yes. We have made that attempt in the past. We've been
turned down, we're trying to seek another avenue.